Hello guys, welcome. I'm Hugo from GameStream UK and this is sort of a little bit of behind the scenes of GameStream. It's also sort of a tutorial on um, how to make a Gmod server. Uh, it runs really nicely, uh, especially if you've got uh, quite a lot of RAM or quite a good computer. And um, it's really it's really good for just playing with your friends and it's really, really quick to set up. And it's free as well, so you don't have to rent anything, which is good. Okay, so uh, the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to host the server so that your friends can play um, with you. And then later, I'm going to show you how to um, get other people to join your server and how they would go about joining your server. Okay, let's get started. Basically, the things you're obviously going to need are Gary's Mod and uh, Hamachi. So you want to get Hamachi from this website here. I'll put, stick a link in the description. And um, you want to get the unmanaged version, which is the free version. It's the one that I use, and uh, it works completely fine. You can pay for the managed version if you want, but it's, it doesn't check. From what I know, it doesn't change anything. Um, so for PC, just hit download now. For Mac, just click there. And before you download either of them, you have to click uh, conditions of use. So once you've got that, you want to open it up, and you get a window that looks a little bit like this. I'm, I've blacked out my IP, but um, your IP would be there. So then you want to click power on and it will do all this resolving and uh, random stuff. So I'm just going to speed through this. Okay, so once you log into Hamachi, it won't look like this for you. These three different servers won't be here for you. But um, when you're hosting, you want to click network, create new network. And then you want to pick an ID that you want to use. So preferably make it simple, but uh, I've got mine as Hotoff Gmod server but you can change it to whatever you like and then you pick a password preferably not a password that's very complicated or something just to use with your friends it's really simple then you click create then um, then you just you'll have a network that look like this there won't be anyone in it but it'll just look like this and then um, if you want to if you want to and then to get your friends to join the server what they want to do is they want to download how much you do exactly what you did but click network join an existing network and type in your network ID and your password and then they'll be connected to your server in here and you'll be able to see their computers see there's Fraser Jacob and Lois the rest of the people from GameStream okay so once you've got that set up you can just uh, move that to the side we'll come back to that later and uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to open up Gmod and then uh, I'll show you from there how you set up a game to play with your friends okay so now in gmod to host the game you want to click just start new game not find multiplayer and uh, once you're in this you can uh, pick the map you want so i've got some maps installed here that we like to uh, usually play on but i'll just pick gm flat grass just a standard one and then up here in the corner where it says single player you want to change that to however many players is going to be we it's usually if it's just me and jacob we just click two player if it's me fraser and jacob click four so i'm just going to quickly go to four and then you can name it if you want, it doesn't actually matter. Um, and to play it online, just don't don't click local. And uh, here's some little things if you want to limit people, you can actually change god mode no clip and uh, damage players uh, in game, so you don't have to make that decision now. And then this is how many things you can have in the game before they hit a limit so that you're, um, so it doesn't overwhelm your computer too much. So this is what I use. Um, obviously, you can change this. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for either a laptop or a slightly uh, or a like an, an office computer or something like that. But um, if you've got a gaming computer or something like that, then these settings should work fine. But um, yeah, you can change any of those to what you like. And then once you've done all of that, you just click Start Game, and it'll load up. It has all this loading world and stuff like that. So that will take a minute. Okay, so once you're in Gmod, there's a little bit of a glitch going on here. Uh, don't mind about that. That'll, that goes away in just a second. But uh, you can run around, you can fly, you can play Gmod just as you'd normally play Gmod if you're on your own. You can spawn objects in. It might take a little minute to initiate, but you can spawn like doors and barrels and different items in, and it's not a problem. Except I seem to have done that slightly wrong. 
tables, chairs, washing machines. They might occasionally. Oh no. No, no, I thought they uh, glitched into the ground. But uh, yeah, you can spawn in different things. I have a mod on called S Cars, so you can just spawn in like a car. But um, yeah, it works completely normally as if you would uh, just be playing it on your own. Okay, so now I'll show you how to get onto the server if you're um, someone who's joining a server, not hosting. Okay, so if you wanted to just join to someone's server uh, and they're hosting it the same way that I've done if you've been following this tutorial, then um, what you want to do is you want to be in Hamachi, you want to go onto that, you're in that person's network, so for example I'm going to be using Fraser's network, which is this one, so I'm just going to activate that one by double clicking on it, deactivate that one. So I'm in Fraser's network, now, connect to hi now to connect to his, I want to find his computer and right click and then click copy IPv4 address so you click that and then uh, I'll show you what to do when you get into Gmod okay so once you're in Gmod um, to connect to someone else's server what well, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the options menu and then click advanced and then you want to enable developer console so just tick that click OK then click apply then it might like initiate for just a second then click OK. So once that's uh, ready to connect to their server just above your tab key on most keyboards and next to your one key you see a little key with uh, just a bunch of different symbols on it that's called your tilde key so you press that and this console should pop up and now to connect to the uh, IP address you just type connect space and you do control paste which will paste the IVP4 address that you copied earlier so just by clicking copy IVP4 address it'll, it won't pop up anything it will just copy it into your clipboard you just type connect control paste and then you click submit and it'll connect you to the server it won't connect to me now because he's not running his server right now so I won't connect to that but uh, you should just go into the server you might have a few issues with mods if there's different add-ons installed like um, I've got quite a few add-ons installed on my server but Jacob and Fraser both have the same add-ons so if there's any big add-ons that make big differences especially maps obviously if you're going to join you make sure you have the same map especially if it's a downloaded map um, and any big mods like um, these whack aircrafts or something like that something that's going to make a big change you want to make sure that you both have those installed um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching. This has just been a short tutorial on how to create a simple Garry's Mod server. And uh, if you've got any questions, anything you're getting stuck on, just uh, write me a message in the comments. Okay, so thanks for watching. Be um, sure to like, like subscribe, favourite maybe. And uh, I'll see you next time with a different tutorial.